Hi, Magic. Good to see you. Good to see you. And you must be Annie? Yes. Yeah. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. you. I'm Corey. Hi. Magic, do you have any questions? Well, yes, I do. Um, I'm kind of confused. So if she's negative and I'm positive, is there any chance that the baby will catch the virus without Travada? Hmm. If she's not on PrEP? Right. Is there a way that, you know, that's possible? That's a really good question. And I think a lot of people have that question. Um, the answer is that as long as Annie stays HIV negative, then the baby will be HIV negative too. And if Annie decides, or if the two of you decide that Annie doesn't want to use PrEP, that you want to just depend on the fact that you have an undetectable level and that that means the risk for Annie getting HIV is low enough and Annie feels like, and you feel like you don't want to use PrEP, still, as long as Annie is HIV negative, the baby will be negative. Okay, so how about if I do not hold an undetectable viral load mm -hmm. and I do have a high viral load mm -hmm. and she's still negative. Mm -hmm. Does a chance increases that the baby will have the virus? As long as Annie is HIV negative, then the baby will be HIV negative. But I think you raise a good point. So um, if for some reason your viral load goes up, either before or during Annie's pregnancy, um, there is a chance at that point, a higher chance, that you could share HIV with Annie. If your viral load goes up, there's a higher risk for that to happen, which would be a reason why Annie would want to take PrEP, to take the pill a day, so that even if your viral load goes up, the PrEP, the medicine she's taking, will protect her from getting the infection or gives higher protection um, so that she would stay negative and the baby would stay negative. So they don't pass anything on. Okay. Okay, and um, I also have a weird question. Okay. It's weird. <laughs> okay. But how about if we both are positive, is there a chance that the baby will not come out negative? That's a great question, yes. So um, women who are living with HIV can become pregnant and have healthy pregnancies and deliver babies who are HIV negative okay. most of the time. What's important in that case, let's say if Annie were living with HIV, as long as she's taking treatment for HIV and her viral load is undetectable, the risk of the baby having HIV is actually less than one out of a hundred. Okay. So the key important thing for women living with HIV is to make sure their viral load is undetectable as well. Okay. And then that risk is almost none okay. for the baby. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. That's not a weird question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So some people are in a partnership, but they also have other partners. Mm -hmm. um, and in that case, um, there might be a risk from getting an STD or a sexually transmitted infection from another person and sort of bringing it back to this partnership. And I just want to let you know that for people living with HIV, even if they have an undetectable viral load, that if they get a sexually transmitted infection, it might actually increase their viral load a little bit so that there might be a higher risk of transmitting HIV or sharing HIV with their partner. Uh -huh. So just to say that if that's, a, that if that's something that ever happens with you, and you don't have to say it, but um, that using barriers or condoms, female condoms or male condoms, if you have other partners, is always a good idea okay. to protect yourself from getting STDs. Okay. Cool.